Hi everyone and welcome to Stellaris Utopia. So, Utopia is an expansion coming just in a few days, on April the 6th, and it's a pretty big one. It adds a lot of new features and revamps a lot of existing features. I've even heard some people go as far as saying it's kind of like a Stellaris re-release. Is that the case? I suppose we'll find out. So, let's jump straight into the game, shall we? I already built the race or empire that we are going to play. It's the Space Hydra Empire, because why not? And the biggest difference here when building your empire is how governments work. You pick one of the five government types, which now includes the hive mind. I was considering playing the hive mind, but it has its downsides. One of the biggest is that playing as the hive mind basically disables any internal politics. And I didn't want that. So maybe another time. So the way this works now is that you pick one of the five government types or authority, which includes democratic, oligarchic, dictatorial, imperial and hive mind. You pick your ethics like before. And then you get to pick civics. And these are unlocked based on what you picked here. So some of them might require specific authority, others might require specific ethics. And I picked nationalistic zeal, which requires some degree of militarist and gives you plus 10% border range, as well as plus one maximum rivalries. And then I picked up technocracy, which requires some degree of materialist. And obviously, I went for militaristic and materialist. Militaristic will give us plus 20% army damage and plus 20% fire rate. It will also have reduced war demand costs and can use full orbital bombardment policy. And materialist will give us minus 10% robot maintenance cost and plus 5% research speed and we'll be able to use full AI rights policy. And I think that's that as far as race creation goes. We'll be starting on an ocean planet. And oh yeah, ethics or traits. I picked up adaptive, intelligent, slow learners and sedentary. So we'll get plus 10% habitability, plus 10% to all research, minus 25% leader experience gain, minus 50% migration speed and plus 25% resettlement cost. And I also went for projectile weapons to start with and hyperspace travel. I played a lot with wormhole travel, so I figured I'll try something different this time. And let's get started then, shall we? So we can play in a large galaxy, 800 stars, elliptical shape, 16 AI empires, let's say 17, 6 with advanced start. We can go for four fallen empires to make things a bit more interesting. Normal aggressiveness, normal difficulty, any FTL method, random empire placement, advanced neighbors off, and game crisis on. And that's that. So one of the other changes in Utopia is that it's supposed to be possible to go tall. I'm quite interested in seeing that. But anyway, let's get started, shall we? First of all, we'll pick up our research. Let's see. So we no longer have to research and tech to unlock colony ships. No need to worry about that. Plus 5% research speed. Probably a good one to start with. Let's grab that. Society. Biolab. Plus 10% naval capacity. Plus one monthly influence. Yes, let's get that. And engineering. We can unlock the coil guns, but that requires 600. We can unlock mining network too, yep. That seems like a no-brainer in this case. Alright, let's check our planet next. Or the surface to be more specific. Let's see, seems reasonable. We can get some more energy. We got quite a bit of science. Yeah, we got quite a lot of energy actually. And some extra minerals. Alright, I think we'll grab a second science ship right away, because that was always a pretty good way to open a new game. So, one of the other big changes in Utopia are traditions. 
look familiar? <laughs> yes, yes, it does. So these are unlocked with Unity, which is kind of a resource that you build up. You can get a planetary improvement that gives Unity. I don't think we have access to that right away. Actually, yes, we do. That produces plus two Unity, and it's a planetary unique. And the traditions... Let's go back to that for a moment. So each tradition tree gives you a bonus for unlocking it. So in case of expansion, for example, new colonies will start with one additional pop. It also gives you a bonus for finishing the entire tree. In case of expansion, adopting all expansion traditions increases our core sector systems by two. And in addition, we will unlock one ascension perk slot. So ascension perk slot is something you get for each of these trees. And Ascension Parks are basically really powerful bonuses. So let's say Interstellar Dominion. Plus 25% border range. That's pretty good. Plus 10% research speed. Plus 10% unity output. Plus 30% governing ethics attraction. And all kinds of other bonuses. Plus 100% terraforming speed. Right, I won't be going through all the traditions right now. Maybe later, once we actually get enough unity to unlock one of the trees. I'll go through all the bonuses. Actually, I'll hover over all of them. And if you want to read some of them, feel free to pause the video. So I'll just go through these really quickly and then throw all the individual policies. I just won't be breathing all of them. It's a pretty tough choice what to start with, but I'll probably start from Supremacy, because then we can get extra firing speed, which will synergize with Militaristic. So we can stack firing speed that way. Not to mention, I would like to play fairly aggressively, if possible, so that makes sense with Supremacy. We'll also get increased border range with Supremacy. And we already got increased border range from one of the Civics, so that also works quite nicely. That's plus 20% just for adopting Supremacy. I quite like that. Unity output increased by plus 10% per neighboring rival. That's not bad. Not bad at all. There are quite a few really interesting bonuses in Traditions. You can customize your game quite a lot with these. And Discovery is the final tree. Alright, so that's that. And I suppose I can show you all the Ascension perks if you'd like to pause and read them all. We'll just do it really quickly. Plus five core sector systems. Speaking of core sector systems, you now only start with three base. I'm not sure if I like that part, but I'll wait until I play a little bit more. And a few more. Plus 200 naval capacity. Not bad. Mega structures are also new in Utopia. Looking forward to building some, hopefully. Plus 33% damage to fallen empires. And plus 33% damage to awakened empires. I suppose that will help if you have to fight them. Oh, and this unlocks the habitat station. That's one of the things that's supposed to help you with going tall. So we might go for that once we're done with supremacy. And here's the megastructure, Ringward. And more megastructures, the Dyson Sphere. Looking forward to seeing all of that. But for now, let's go back to our business. So, first of all, let's see. I think we can unpause. Just need to start surveying. Alright. And we can go fast. Oh yeah, let's check our ruler. What traits do we have? Plus 10% happiness. 
and plus 10% energy credits. Not bad, I like that. Alright then, and our air, plus 25% uh, or plus 25 years leader lifespan and plus 10% happiness still, very nice. So we'll have plus 10% happiness for a while. Good to know. So let's find something useful that we can improve. There's the science ship, just need to grab a new leader. Let's see, plus 15% experience gain. Plus 10% anomaly discovery chance, I like that. Let's grab that. And we'll check out some of the systems that are inside our borders. Off you go. Nothing to improve with our construction ship just yet. I'm waiting to find something useful. Either minerals or energy. Because we need to build up our mineral income and energy income first before we really start thinking about science too much. Fully surveyed and we didn't find anything, really. Well, that's a bit unlucky. I think that's the first time I've seen that happen. Hopefully we'll find something useful in these other systems. We got an anomaly. 20% failure risk, that's acceptable. Still nothing to improve, that's very disappointing. Very unlucky. Silicon based life forms and discovery of alien life. Alright then, let's pause for a moment. What kind of planet is this? Ocean, nice. That's our type. Minerals, let's go grab those. That's what I was waiting for, basically. Off you go. This is still a fairly unlucky start, I have to say. Contact report, deep space dwellers. Alright. And we also found some energy over there. Sounds good. System survey complete. So how good is this planet exactly? Let's have a look. It's not terrible. We have some Batharian stone. It could have been bigger, but hey, it's pretty nice. And it's our type, so that's always good to see. Right, let's continue surveying. Let's maybe go this way. And check that out. Would be nice to find a colonizable planet in this area. Just to expand our border as much as possible. Alright, let's move on. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, that's not good. Automated dreadnought. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, over here. Right. I guess we won't be going this way after all. Probably not, no. Unless we can beat it. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I suppose we can find out. So let's find out. Meanwhile, we can survey a different system. Construction complete. Construction complete. Let's grab the energy now. Off you go. So can we beat these guys? Or just one guy, I suppose. We can see its strength. So I'm not convinced. This is probably a terrible idea. Yes, that was actually a terrible, terrible idea. <laughs> hey, I tried. Not that we really lost the whole lot. We'll work on our fleet once we get a few mining stations. So, more minerals. We'll just improve everything that's inside our borders. As soon as possible. Shame we can't go through here though. That's going to be really annoying. Yeah, in fact, I have to beat that thing. Because this is the only way we can get out. Quite literally. This is the only system. 
Okay, that System might get interesting. I hope it's not too strong. I suppose we can always just go past it. That's a possibility. We'll see. For now, let's focus on improving everything, shall we? Minerals first. Energy can wait a little bit longer. And more planets. Ocean and ocean. Okay, that's quite nice. That's going to be 90%. I have very mixed feelings about this start so far. We got some physics research in that system, good. First strike legion. Don't really have to worry about that at the moment. Carry on. And we gain the level. How much unity do we need to unlock the first tradition tree? We need 72. We are getting there. Just nine more. Construction complete. Oh nice, plus three society research on this planet. That's a pretty nice system for research right there. We are almost done surveying everything in this area. Okay. This is going to be interesting. So I suppose we can change the fleet stance and just go past that dreadnought. That makes me a little bit nervous, but I don't see any other options. I guess we'll just do that. Traditions are viable. So, like I said, we will adopt Supremacy. That will immediately give us plus 20% border range. So, I like that. There, very nice. We actually grabbed the system. 211 minerals. We need 350 to get the colony ship. But let's maybe pick up the engineering research. Situation log updated. System survey complete. Okay, pause. Too many things going on all at once. Special project. Oh yeah, we met some aliens. Good to know. 60% failure risk. No, that's a little bit too high for my taste. So let's see if we can go past here safely. I think so. Situation yeah, we updated. can. All right. Oh, great. More aliens in that system as well. This area seems a little bit dangerous. I don't like it. Come on, keep moving. We're done surveying this area already. This is slightly awkward. Looks clear over here, at least. I saw 500 strength over here. But we don't know what the strength of that Dreadnought is. Plus 20 influence. Or we can begin the event chain. Let's begin the event chain. So can we do this part already? We should be able to. No, we can't. What's the requirement here? Skill free or higher, we don't have that, unfortunately. Okay, that's fine. Back to construction ship. Let's grab the research. And then we'll wait to get 350 minerals to get the colony ship. And we might as well send the other science ship this way. I mean, there's no need to keep it over here. And we should be able to jump past to this system safely. It would be nice to colonize something on this side. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, but I have no clue how strong this thing is. Probably quite strong, if I had to guess. Plus one monthly influence. 
What's next? Minus 10% growth time. Hydroponics farm 2. Okay, I think we should grab that. Yep. Other research is also almost done. 40% failure risk. Let's try. Research complete. And what's next in physics? Let's have a look. Fusion power? Maybe. Minus 25% colony ship build cost, but that requires 600 research. A bit too much. Or we could grab global energy management. Energy grid. Yeah, sure. Geothermal fracking is also almost done. And now we just wait to get 360 minerals, I suppose. And then we'll have to work on our fleet again. What's going on? 182 engineering research gained. Yes, let's grab that. And what's next? Maybe something that will help our ship design? Ion Froster, yep. Sounds good. Do we have any mines that we can upgrade? System yes, we do. Complete. Let's just do that then. System survey Colony ship can wait a little bit longer. Surveys are done. We'll go this way. Wait, was this system clear? No, it wasn't, was it? I don't think so. No, we didn't check that one, right. Survey. Now we wait for the minerals. Anomaly, 20% failure risk. Yep, let's check that out. And once we get level 3, we'll go back to whatever this system is called. Scorum. To get the project. We just need level 3 first. That will take a little bit of time. How's growth in here? We are working on it. We can build the power plant later. I want that colony ship. Junkyard. Plus three minerals. Well, not super useful all the way over here. System survey complete. I was hoping to find a colonizable planet in one of these systems. So far, all the best planets are back near our starting location, back near our homeworld. Which, don't get me wrong, is a good thing. It's nice to have a decent base close to where we started, but at the same time, I wanted to grab as many systems as possible with our borders. That was kind of one of the points of picking up two bonuses to border range. Construction Maybe we'll still find something. I hope we will. Plus 17 minerals now, so let's wait for 350. Another anomaly, 40% failure risk. That is pretty high. Should we wait? Nah, no, let's research it. And move on. Find me some decent planet, thanks. Let's maybe check this one. It's a little bit closer. And we got Ion Thruster. Coil gun? That's 600. Maybe. I'm tempted to pick that up. Okay, let's grab the coil gun. And once we finish that, we'll start working on our fleet. Well, we can start working on our fleet once we get to the colony ship. I'm prioritizing that right now. We failed, unfortunately. Alright. That just means we didn't find anything of interest. Didn't lose the scientist, fortunately. So, colony ship. 360. And then we'll queue up a few corvettes. 
Not much we can change in the design just yet. And right now the design is automated. Don't have to worry about it too much. I don't think I'll be customizing the design until we get more techs, because there's just not a whole lot to customize at the moment. We don't have the technologies for that. Where's that? That's a nice system, but it's quite far away. How much unity do we need for the first tradition? We almost got enough, we need 92. Which one do we want first? Let's see... Yeah, this one, obviously. That's the only one that will actually help us right now. So that's what we'll go for. And then... Well, and then we'll see. Technically, I could also unlock another tree for one of the adoption bonuses. It might not be a bad idea. But I want the finishing effect. And that will take a little bit of time. Colony ship is almost done. Let's queue up a few corvettes right away. Traditions available, so let's grab master ship rights. Yep, sounds good. And science ships need new assignments. Would be nice if this system had a colonizable planet. Let's maybe wait before we decide what to colonize. Because if this system has a colonizable planet, I will definitely colonize that first. So before we decide what to go for, we'll wait a moment or two. I don't think it will have anything, actually. No. It won't. Baron, Baron. Gas giant frozen. That is unfortunate. Alright. Which one is the best over here? Well, let's grab the one that will give us new systems inside our borders. This one is the best anyway, 24 population. That's a no-brainer over there. Colonize. And on top of the minerals, I think. Yep. We'll have two adjacent tiles with energy and one with minerals. We could also go down here. On one food and one mineral. We'll miss out on one tile with adjacency bonus, but this is actually better, I think. Two minerals, two food, one energy. I like that one. So now we need a little bit of extra energy. Let's work on that. And then we can work on our fleet. And try to expand in this direction. What did we find? Ocean planet. 21 population. Okay, we'll probably colonize that next. The only problem is that it's a little bit far away. Several jumps away. So it might be a little bit tricky to defend. If we end up having to defend it. I guess we'll find out. Construction complete. We will go to war sooner or later. That's kind of the whole point of going supremacy. <laughs> but right now there's no one to go to war with. So not just yet. Research station. Survey complete. And survey is done. Alright, let's keep moving. 10% failure risk. We should probably investigate the aliens. What are we researching in society and is it important to wait for that? No. We can afford to delay it. Right. Let's investigate the aliens then. Won't take too long. Another planet. Continental this time. Yeah, that's also useful. Shame they weren't a little bit closer. But oh well. Research complete. We still need level 3. 
to get the project done. System survey complete. So next research, physics lab, basic combat roles, power plant 2, yeah, power plant 2. To improve our energy income a little bit. Speaking of energy, house population growth going, yeah, we already got extra pop. So I guess we should grab energy grid now. Yep, sounds good to me. Science ship. How's that contact? Almost done. Construction complete. System survey complete. More surveys done. That's also a really nice system. Looks like the best way to grab all of this will be getting rid of that dreadnought. I just don't know if we can do it. Well, right now we clearly can't. But I don't know how hard it's going to be. We'll find out, but I kind of really want all these systems. Alright, carry on. Let's keep building some corvettes. We need some kind of fleet. If only to be able to defend ourselves. However, this will be a good moment to make a cut, so I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think about Stellaris Utopia so far. I'll do 5 to 10 episodes first, and then we'll decide whether to continue or not. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.